Selling a home as is, what does that even mean? It can mean different things to different people. We are gonna run through and explain exactly two ways you can sell a house as is. We're gonna give you some hot tips on what to do as a seller if you wanna sell as is, and explain why in some states you may actually be selling as is without even knowing it. Hey there, Christian Walsh, real estate agent with Wire Associates, Berkshire Hathaway Home Services. We have been helping sellers make the smartest decisions in this crazy market. And remember, we can't give tax or legal advice, but for the most honest, and up-to-date real estate advice, subscribe to this channel. So when selling a home as is, some people mean that they are going to actually list the home as is. They're not gonna do any improvements or upgrades before listing the home. That's an important distinction we'll refer to as listing as is. And why would someone list as is? Well, if a home needs work and maybe they don't have the time or the money, they may decide that the only way they can sell is to list the home as is in its current condition, get it on the market and get it sold just the way it sits. Another reason you may wanna sell a home as is is maybe it's a teardown. Maybe there's more value in the land or the structure itself can't be redeemed or maybe it's going to change its use go from single family to maybe multifamily. So that would be a good example where you wouldn't put any money into it to get it ready for market, you are going to list it as is. And as for number two, selling as is, you do just that, you sell as is. In other words, the seller is not planning on giving any sort of credit for any repairs or doing any repairs while the property is under contract. This is most often what people think of when they say we're going to sell as is. And what are some reasons a seller may say, that's it, I'm not paying for any repairs? Well, they may think they're going to net more money by not agreeing to cover any of the repairs that a buyer is asking for. This isn't always necessarily true. When we run through our hot tips, we'll explain. Another reason is maybe they already spent a bunch of money on upgrades for the home, getting it ready for the market, and they don't want to spend any additional money on any repairs for the home. And so that's another reason that some folks say, that's it, we're not given any credit for repairs and we're not doing any repairs, we are selling as is. Oh, and of course, you can do any combination. You can do one or both. You can list as is, not sell as is, you can sell as is with not listing as is, or you can do both list as is and sell as is. I hope that makes sense. As we mentioned, you may be selling as is already without even knowing it. We're gonna dive into the California Residential Purchase Agreement. So as a seller, if you use the standard CAR Residential Purchase Agreement, you are going to have an as is sale. And I'd imagine most other states have similar verbiage in their purchase agreements as well. And what it says here under 7B in the most recent purchase agreement, and this has been in here for years, unless otherwise agreed, the property shall be delivered as is in its present physical condition as of the date of acceptance. So that means that what the property is like when an offer is accepted, that is how it needs to be delivered to the buyer. So that's an important point. Once the property goes under contract and the buyer hasn't even necessarily done due diligence yet, that is how the house needs to be delivered for the close of escrow to occur and meet the requirements of the purchase agreement. But what does the purchase agreement say about the buyer asking for repairs? There's two important things. Number one is 7B2 says the buyer is strongly advised to conduct investigations of the property. So the purchase agreement is encouraging buyers to do their due diligence. And what is a buyer able to do per the purchase agreement? Well, 14B2 says the buyer may, within the time specified above, request that the seller make repairs or take any other action regarding the property. And you use the form RR request for repairs. So this shows you that the buyer is able to ask for any repairs or corrections, even though the sale is as is. And then furthermore, the seller has no obligation to agree or even respond to the buyer's request. So that's an important point too. Buyer can ask, seller can say nothing, say yes, say no. So that is important for both sides to understand. When selling property as is, the buyer can still ask. And here's some hot tips for sellers who are looking to sell as is. So that's whether you're gonna take advantage of listing as is, or you're going to sell as is, or some combination of both. Number one is disclosure is important. So in California and many other states, it's up to the seller to disclose 
any known material facts. And a material fact is one where a buyer may change their mind if they knew about that fact ahead of time in the purchase of the property. Our advice to sellers is disclose, disclose, disclose. You want to get all those things in front of the buyer so they can make an informed decision on their purchase and not come back after you later on as well. The other important factor is if you're gonna sell as is, is to disclose sooner rather than later. I had a recent listing where the seller had an AC unit that did not work and he was not going to invest the money in fixing it up before selling and he wasn't gonna give a credit to the buyer. So he got some bids on a new unit and as we marketed the property for sale, we let potential buyers and agents know that the AC didn't work. I put it in the MLS listing, let agents know that they could go ahead and ask me for a copy of the bid. When we did an open house, again, disclosed it, showed the bid. It was an important way to make sure that issue didn't become a deal killer. The seller already knew about it and the seller knew they were going to sell as is without giving a credit credit or changing that out. We were able to find a buyer who gave the top offer and knew going in that that was something they were going to take care of. That's why disclosure is important and disclose as soon as you can to make sure the deal stays together. Second hot tip, listing as is, does it really make sense for you? Now I understand in certain cases, particularly for example, if the property is gonna be torn down, it may not make much sense to do anything to it. But if you have the time, if there isn't a big rush to get the property sold, if money's the issue, you don't have the money to actually do the repairs, or you don't know which repairs to do, there's two answers. If money's the issue and you don't have the funds to actually cover the cost of repairs, there are companies out there, we work with one in particular who's amazing, that will front the money and help make sure those repairs are done and that company will be paid back after the property closes. It's the only way it makes sense and we will work with this company to help you is if you net more money than the cost of repairs. The other issue is maybe you just don't know where to spend the money or what things to do to get the house ready to sell to net you more money and that's where you need to reach out to the appropriate professional. For example, I am a residential remodeling specialist and I can help guide you so you understand where to best spend those funds. And again, we have a partner who can front the money for those repairs that we determine will net you the most money and get those done. So that's why you need to talk to a professional to see if listing as is makes the most sense for you. Another hot tip, if you are selling as is, you may say as a seller that you don't wanna give any sort of credit, but you have to take all the factors into consideration. If it is a solid offer that's gonna net you more than any other offer behind, it may make sense to give a small credit, especially for something that the buyer uncovered that nobody knew ahead of time it is worth potentially giving a small credit. So be open to negotiating. Way too often a seller stands on their soapbox and says, I said this was gonna be as is, and it may end up costing more money in the long run. So that's why you turn to your real estate professional to run through the negotiations, do a good job, and make sure you net out with the most money at the end. And don't forget, we're real estate agents based in Southern California. Before you even think of selling as is or buying as is, make sure you reach out. We have a link below so you can do that. Leave your selling houses as is questions below. We wanna hear your stories. Did you sell your home as is? Did you attempt to buy a home as is? Leave your comments below and let us know how it went. Make sure you subscribe to our free weekly email newsletter and you'll get updates like these gently delivered to your email inbox every Sunday. Oh, and if you like this one, make sure you check out this next video. Thanks for tuning in. This has been Christian Walsh, real estate agent with Wire Associates, Berkshire Hathaway Home Services, and we can't wait to hear from you.